Hi guys, my name is Sean Wing, and today I'm going to talk about different methods of determining crosslinks. Crosslinks definition: um, uh, the crosslink density is defined as the number of crosslinks point per unit volume. The value of crosslinks density may be in the order of thousand to hundred thousand mol per square centimeter, which is really small for the typical rubber material, corresponding to fifteen to fifteen hundred monomer units between the crosslinks. The elastic force of uh, retraction elasticity is directly proportional to the crosslink density. Reversion is due to the loss of crosslink density as a result of non-oxidative thermal aging. So there is, uh, you can see the picture on the right side. There is uh, two stages of um, um, two main stages of the crosslinking. As you can see here, uh, gelation period, which occur at the beginning, and the cure time, which occurs here. Uh, almost at the end, and you can see that gelation st always start in the beginning, uh, occurs at the early stages, and the curing time is some uh, fractional level of uh, ultimate properties. For example, it's like um, high tensile strength because you see the properties, mechanical properties is high. So crosslinking is often measured by swelling experiment. The crosslinking sample is placed into a good solvent at a specific temperature and either the change in mass or change in volume is measured. The more cross-linking, the less swelling is attainable. Based on the degree of swelling, the flory uh, interaction parameter um, and the density of the solvent, the theoretical degree of cross-linking can, can be calculated using the uh, uh, flory's uh, network theory. And on the next slide, uh, his equation, flory rainier equation, these two guys' equation. Is, um, so this equation is um, just basically describe the mixing of uh, polymer and liquid molecules as predicted by the equilibrium swelling theory. It describes the equilibrium swelling uh, of the light crosslink polymer in terms of crosslink density and the quality of the solvent. Here's the uh, the um, equation. Next, uh, here's the, the picture. You can see the um, how the crosslink density affect the uh, size of polymer unit between the uh, branch points. So you can see on the left, uh, right side, you can see the, the how it's a big square, and then on the left side is smaller because increasing crosslink density, it make the uh, size of polymer units get smaller, decrease it, like it's getting squished down a little bit, you know, it's like that. So um, here, uh, there's a lot of ways to find the, the crosslink density, and one of the way is the number of the chain segments between crosslinks per unit volume. You see the uh, on a formula equation here. <clears throat> so which n is a uh, avocado number uh, is a 6.02 times 1033 times the rho is the density and divided by um, mc which is a average molecular weight between crosslinks. Okay? And another way to find it, uh, the crosslink density, is we know that crosslink density is inversely proportional to the uh, average molecular weight between crosslinks. So that means crosslink density equals one over the MC, which yeah, one over the mol uh, average molecular weight between the crosslinks. Okay. These two equ equation, you can you can find you can get the. Uh, you can get this equation, which uh, the uh, you can find the initial elastic modulus. Finding initial uh, initial uh, elastic modulus, you can plug it in this this formula, where you can find the average molecular weight between crosslinks, and from there you can find the crosslink density. Next, uh, determination by equilibrium swelling. So swelling can be determined gravit gravimetrically by weighting the polymer sample before the experiment and subtracting the value from the solvent swollen polymer. So here are the two formulas you can find. Uh, you find uh, we, it's given original polymer weight, it's given polymer density, uh, solvent density, and the uh, swollen polymer weight, um, and original weight. So after that you find the, uh, you found the equilibrium volume, you plug it to the to the other uh, equation to find the equilibrium volume fraction of the polymer. Okay. After you found that, you plug it in this equation, where where the molar volume here is given, polar density is given, equilibrium volume fraction of the polymer is given, and everything is given. And now you just need to find uh, MC, which is average molecular weight between crosslink, and from there you can find the crosslink density. Any questions? 
uh, if no question, then I just ask myself. I will ask myself, what is the crosslink density in my own words? Not not looking for the uh, you know definition. If I'm gonna tell somebody who don't have no idea what is crosslink density, then I will explain him that uh, crosslink density is the number of chemical crosslinks, chemical crosslinks per unit volume in the polymer. So it's it's really small little things that inside inside the uh, polymer so um, the number of chemical crosslinks again inside the unit of volume in the polymer okay here's my reference things uh, the link on YouTube you can find down below thank you